Hello, welcome to the Robotics for Kids tutorial. My name is Emerike Adeze. I'm a STEM education facilitator and I'll be your guide through this video. Hello guys, welcome to another session of the Robotics for Kids online scratch tutorial. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's session, we'll be coding a game, a jumping game actually. The idea is for you to have a sprite that you control to jump over obstacles. If the sprite successfully jumps over an obstacle, then you get a point for that. But then when the sprite comes in contact with this obstacle, it's counted as a loss. So I'll be giving you a head start on how to program the actual game. Then at the end, you get a task to add any other extra features that have been that have been mentioned. Let's jump right into it. I'll take out the sprite and for my main character I'll be going with a cheek. I take this and I'll select a very nice background. Okay, let me go with the blue sky. This makes it look like a soil green grass and then the sky i'll increase the size of my cheek to 120 i want it to look a bit bigger okay this is cool and for the obstacle i'll be going with an egg here yeah. have my egg here and I'll reduce the size to 60. Yeah, that looks okay. This size of chick should be able to jump over the size of egg. So I think this works. Now for the chick, the instruction will be for you to control its movement. And that is basically for you to jump up and then come down. The chick does not need to move. The egg will be moving. Or any other obstacle you choose to use will be moving and then when it gets closer to the chick it jumps up so that the obstacle passes through without it coming in contact with it so when I'll be going with the space bar key I think that's the prominent the most prominent one when the space bar is pressed on your keyboard I would want the cheek to change because the cheek will only be jumping up and coming down. Its movement is just only on the Y axis. So I'll take this code that says change Y by 10. And I would like for it to repeat. So it should change Y by 10. It should take 10 steps in the upward position towards the positive y axis once the space bar is split. If it takes those 10 steps upward and you want it to come down, then you repeat the same code and then change the value minus 10. Minus 10. Sorry. So this just automatically, this minus 10 automatically removes the 10 steps that's taken upwards and then it brings it right down to the position where it was before. I'll click on the space bar on my keyboard and let's watch to see what happens. Okay, that's cool. And if this height, the height where the chick gets to, if it's not okay by you, then you can just increase this number from 10 to maybe 15 and this one as well okay so the next thing to do would be to set the cheek to a definite position its starting point where we would want it to remain for the rest of the game since it won't be moving so wherever is convenient for you you choose so remember that the obstacle would have to go through this trail get past the cheek it will come back and then it will draw another round egg. And then to do this, to have the chick set to a definite position, we'll go to when flag is split. 
good like okay this is where i want my cheek at the beginning of the game and at the end that this is just where i want my cheek so i'll go to looks sorry i'll go to motion and select go to x is setting location on the x axis and on the y axis you see that the numbers here that shows where the cheek is has already been filled here automatically so i just leave this here okay so this is for my cheek even if this cheek somehow gets to find itself here once i click on the flag for the game to begin my cheek will return to this position and that is where it will be till the game is over so let me press I'll click on the flag and press on the arrow key here yeah. yeah so no matter where your cheek is once the game starts once you click on the flag and the game starts your cheek will return to this position where you've given it an instruction to be now for the egg we'll be saying when flag is clicked but once okay let me show you something this egg has several costumes here it looks whole here it has it is cracked here it has legs and arms same here it looks moody cracked with legs and there are just so many several costumes for the egg but we'll be making use of two when the egg is whole and then when it is cracked for a scene where the egg will be whole in the beginning and then if it comes in contact with the cheek then the egg cracks and that marks the end of our game and you lose so would want sorry looks we'll come over to looks and then say switch costume to if you are not very sure of which of these costumes has the whole egg then just come over to costume and check you will see egg a egg b egg c and the rest of it if you like you can actually change the the name of the costume over here and give it a name you're very comfortable with so at the beginning of the game when the flag is clicked we want egg a to appear and then we want the game to wait until the cheek comes in contact with the egg so we'll go to sensing wait until this egg is touching the cheek then what will happen we would like for it to change its look again switch costume now to the cracked egg egg b so this egg if it starts moving and it gets to this point and the cheek does not successfully jump up for it to get through if the cheek touches the egg the egg should switch to the, to the costume where it looks cracked now for the movement of the egg place your egg at where you want it to start from its own starting point I'll have mine here okay so for when flag is clicked I would want my egg to go to a, a certain position you see that this position already they are filled up here the, the position where I have the egg here on the x axis and here on the y axis it's already filled up in this line of code so i'll just attach this and then what next i would want that egg to glide i want it to glide to a certain position and then it will repeat the process again so what i'll use to test the position where i want the egg to get to will just be to drag this egg from here to this point and if I look at the x-axis it says minus 229 here I have 221 I'll fill this place with minus 229 
Then for the y axis, it has minus 158. Here I have minus 155. That means there was a slight change between the height of this egg when it was here and its height now that I pulled it down. So because I want the y axis to be constant, I'll just leave this minus 55, five, minus 155. Five, the way it is in both in both the um, line of lines of code so i'll attach this here i'll go to control and select forever so what this egg will do is that in the once the flag is clicked it will come to this initial position to come to this initial position that is go to x this position on the x axis and this position on the y axis which is here it will come here and then it will glide it will move gliding means rolling over to this position once it gets here this is the last instruction it is giving it will go back because i said it should repeat the instruction forever it will go back to this position again and then goes through when it gets here, it goes back again, it continues the movement until there is a loss or the game ends. So guys, let's try this now to see what the outcome would be. So I'll click on the flag and remember I'll be using the space bar key to control the cheek. So here, okay, so did you see that when the egg touched the cheek, it it cracked immediately and this egg obviously is moving very fast so what you would do is to increase the time because I said glide one second one second is too short a time for it to move from here to here so that means that it's it has to increase its speed so that it can cover the distance within a second so I just change this to three let's see how three seconds work here okay this is better i get a time to jump all right that's cool okay that's perfect if you want if you want it slower just change the time you can if you increase the time to a higher number it moves slower then if you reduce it it moves faster so whichever is okay with you you go with that now for the case where the egg touches the cheek, we want the egg to crack and then the game should stop. So I'll go over to control and select stop all. Okay. So now let's see. I pass the first one and there, there you go. So you see, my chick did not successfully jump up on time so that the air can go through and then the air cracked and the game stopped. So that's just how simple it actually is. Now there are a few things I would like for you to do. I'll show you how to add an extra obstacle and then you would, what you do for me is to add score and you add sound in the appropriate places. So for another obstacle, I'll just duplicate the sprites you see here i have egg now i have egg two so both egg egg and egg two they have the same lines the same codes written in them because i duplicated the sprite outrightly and you see where egg two is located so what i'll do to this egg two is to add just a few lines of code to make it wait so that egg one starts out its journey before egg two will appear and continue. So I'll say when flag is clicked, I like for egg one to hide. I'll say hide. Then I'll go to control. I'll ask it to wait for one second. Or oh, okay, let me say 1.3, 1.3 seconds. After 1.3 seconds, then it should show itself. Show. And then it should do the same gliding that egg that egg does. 
So let's click on the flag and see what happens. So egg one will start the journey, jump, egg two follows suit, jump again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if you want more than two obstacles, just follow this process and iterate. Um, you can remember you can use whatever you choose as your obstacle or your main character or your backdrop. Then another thing I will do is to add sound just in one particular place then you do the rest for the cheek i want to add sound for a case where the cheek jumps and the egg passes through without it touching the without the cheek touching the egg and it doesn't crack so it means that that sound will represent a successful jump over the obstacle and you get a score for that so what i'll do is just say there are several ways i can do it i can add sound here but then when i add sound here that sound has to play first before this code is executed so it delays the movement of my cheek so the best way to do it is for me to use this instruction when the flag is split then play sound sorry not when the flag is split it should be when space bar is pressed remember for the cheek to jump up i have to press the space bar so anytime i press the space bar two things should happen the cheek should jump up and come down again and that song should play so i'd have play chip until done now let's see what happens again okay so this is the game basically guys you see it's very easy actually it's something you can do even without instruction so um there are two things i want for you to do you should add sound to the entire game length a sound that will play all through the game until somebody actually wins or loses so um i would also like for you to include score so find your way around. I've shown you several in several cases how to come up with a score variable and the rest of it. So include score and add a sound that will play all through the game. If you would like, increase the number of obstacles, increase the speed, whatever else you choose, whatever other feature you think would make the game more interesting than it actually is right now, do. So have fun guys while doing this. I'll be waiting to see your outputs. Take care.